Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this logo from Air Warfare, and it doesn't trace for the flip. But I'd already been working and got this one pretty good, so I just made a new one using these wings. Pretty easy. So here's a set of wings that I and they need to be cleaned up a little bit, but that's neither here nor there right now. So I just went to the winter internet and found a rope anchor and I copied the image and I brought it into Corel and there it is right there. So it is, you know, it's a bit map. Let's take a yellow box trick back a page and you can see it's a bit map and it's, it's pretty small, but we're going to make it smaller because it's going to be really small anyway. Then we're going to trace it, outline trace clip art, and we're going to get a pretty good image going to take just a second this isn't really what the video is about but we're going to take that and if we move we can see that there's no yellow background and it's a pretty good trace a little, little got a little white in there but we can go and go group and ungroup and possibly see what our nudge factor is set on two inches maybe we can grab the black and the white is there. So now we can delete. We can't really grab all that rope. We could, but it'd be easier just to delete this white. And then we can take this back and just nudge it back. And immediately I'd go to object order and group or group it together. That's pretty much the easy part. And it's really all pretty easy. But whenever you do something like this, make a duplicate of your item and then we're gonna we need to delete this circle and there's a couple of problems that does that we could actually deal with that but if we go to I'll tell you what we're gonna have to do is probably select it all and go up to object and well we can't really do that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete the inside one with the virtual segment delete key and delete all this and there's pretty much a lot of garbage in there. Now, this particular one, I know for a fact we're going to make it a half inch line. I am going to, for a second, I'm going to left click no, no uh, fill. And that shows us that I can delete that circle. Now, if we delete this other part of the circle, we're going to lose the wings. So I'm going to right click and break apart. Doesn't really matter where you do, right click and break apart. Go over this side, right click, break apart. I'm just hitting the uh, the outer nodes of this ring, right click, break apart. And by doing this, now I can take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Now we need to make this shape and just, oh, I don't know when it was, a couple of months ago, I. I showed how to make this shield uh, right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Pretty easy. And let's, doesn't matter what size of the lips, uh, make a duplicate of it, holding down the control button and go to the middle. Hit the plus key again and grab it. Hold down the control key and you can see your shield grow right in there. And now you have the shape of the shield. I probably want to go a little bit taller. Let's zoom in here and look. Yep. So we could take our first two, or our top two rings, and just move up a little bit more. There we go. Take your Smart Field tool, and what that does, Smart Field creates a new shape. Left click, right click. Now I know for a fact that I'm going to want a um, a contour line on the inside of that and that's about perfect right there so before I do anything I'm going to go ahead and do that I'm going to go to effect and contour and I'm going to contour to the inside 0 .03 now I'm going to go to object and break the contour apart I am going to move well I need to get these things centered 
So I'll tell you what we can do. We can grab that. Let's group this together, control G. And now if we take our shield without moving the other part yet, just kind of move it down where you kind of want it. And I think, you know, that's in the center good enough. So what I'm going to do is now is nudge the inner shield away and take my virtual segment delete key and delete these lines that are on the excess. Okay. Now I can move this back up and we have our, our item. I'm going to nudge that out of the way. Now to look at this, we need a banner and inside of all versions of Corel, there's a banner drawer. Yours might be under basic shapes or common shapes. And if it's under basic shapes, uh, your banners will be somewhere else. And we're going to kind of mimic this about the size. We can actually bring it over here now to see what it's going to look like. And we're going to use the envelope tool. I'm going to grab the envelope tool is under your drop shadow flyout or your shadow flyout. And I just did a video yesterday about using the shift key, but in this case on an envelope, it's not going to work because it's doing just the opposite. So just one at a time, I'm going to drag this down and kind of give, give my envelope, envelope a curve. I think that looks pretty good and, and we're going to bring it up and we can actually bring it up into, let's set our nudge factor to remember two inches in case we need it later. I'm going to go 0 0.01. I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to nudge that up because we actually kind of want the banner touching the wings. Okay. But now before I do anything to that, I'm going to change it back to two inches and I'm going to nudge that down two inches. I'm going to take my smart field tool and fill that in and nudge it over. And we'll use that in just a second and just remember to, not to move, to nudge. So now what we can do is take our virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. And you would probably never, and this person actually wants an outline and not a, a fill. Now there's a little part of the line right there. And it's going to be so little, things like that aren't even going to show, but you know, if you're going to do something, you might as well do it right. And you could always take the shape tool and just grab those nodes and delete them. So we've got that done, but now we need to put wording in here. So I'm going to left click, right click, and I shouldn't take it away my uh, contour docker. I'm going to go back, uh, got lost there for a second. I'm going to contour it to the inside point zero three. Just a little bit of a contour. That really is not even going to play into the subject yet. And then take this and go and break the contour apart. And then by doing this, we can take this node and right, I'm left clicking and right clicking and break it apart. Left clicking, right clicking, break apart. And then I can basically delete all this because I just want that line. You know, we've already got that up there. And then I'm going to type out, I think it's, all capital letters and we're going to bring it in and make it a little bit lower and it, the placement doesn't really matter uh, per se but we need to make it about that size so I'm going to top getting one of the top arrow buttons and that's pretty good it could be smaller yet remember that I contoured and that was one of the reasons. So now I'm going to go to text, fit op, uh, text to path and put it right in the middle. I'll get that red mark. Now I'm going to grab it. I'm going to control K. That's going to break our line away. And now remember we've nudged this whole time. So we can nudge it. Now it's too low, but that's fine. We've got the path. And let's, uh, let's set our nudge factor on something low, like 0.1. And 
grab our text, and just bring it up. Now, he wants an outline, so everything's going to be a one-inch outline. And then all you have to do is bring in your... I hope I didn't mess up my rope. Somewhere I lost my... There it is. And, you know, I did a no-no because I, I, I did not nudge this thing. I just moved it because I didn't think it would matter. But we should be able to very easily place that rope. And then I would group that together, control G, and make it a little bit smaller and just place it inside there. And then when you zoom in, you know, this, this is not going to center. So this is going to be an eyeball deal, but if you set your nudge factor or something pretty low, you can tweak it over. And you have actually got a center you know, line there between the two points, and that's pretty close. My rope is a little bit off, uh, but that's, I'm not, this isn't my real one. So that's how you can make one logo, use the, use the best part of one logo and, and uh, use it again. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.